Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniatures. I gotta say, with the announcement of the new Warhammer Quest and the teasers they've shown so far for the new Witch Hunter, Vampire Hunter, Inquisitor dude, uh, I gotta say, I have been in such a mood to paint and build something of a similar variety that I scoured the files on my computer and remembered I've got a great set of Vampire Hunters from Titan Forge Miniatures Patreon. Um, I figured, since I already have a couple printed up, why not print a few more up to show you guys? So I know it's nowhere near as flashy as the new guys at GW is showing us, but these are some great looking witch hunter types if you're in need of that. I thought not only that, but like something like Mordheim or something. So unfortunately, a little bit of a failure there on his blade on his belt but i don't think you can get more witch hunter looking than that guy although some of the other female witch hunters that were included were also quite nice looking plenty of stakes big blades fun poses Almost all of these were also a single piece, and this is when my printer was starting to act up. This is not my newer screen, but I figure even with little errors like that, I think it's so minimal that it is more than usable and easily fixed, if so inclined. And what kind of a vampire hunting group would we be if we didn't have some kind of doctor? So we've got a very nice plague doctor here. Quite detailed skulls. I already tried to prime these, which is why they look so sloppy. And then, although this model was included originally with their Blood Fields Kickstarter. Is that his tongue or is that flash that's sticking out? I'm not sure. flash. <laughs> anyway, this was the only multi-part figure of the Vampire Hunter set, and that's basically just his tail. He's a big boy. I'm going to put him on a 40 millimeter base back here, just to give you guys a good idea. But one of the coolest things about this release, now I got this during the original Patreon run, but I'm sure if you go on their My Mini Factory page, in fact I know most of these are there because I was double checking, but they also had a set of modular angry villagers. Now, they didn't have tons and tons of options, and somehow it got a crack there because I guess I didn't cure it enough or something. But how can you not go wrong with modular angry villagers? And I'll just paint it up as a scar. It's going to work good enough for me. And I got to say, besides all the other stuff that's included, um, I absolutely recommend if you don't check it regularly and you do have access to a printer, that Titan Forge's Patreon is a great one to support because you get a lot of bang for your buck in terms of models. They usually have some kind of modular uh, warriors, you know, nice looking characters, scenery, big centerpiece models, vehicles. I mean, there's just a ton of stuff that they usually have every month for around 10 bucks, unless, you know, you're going to get one of the merchant class ones. But I gotta say, uh, size wise, they scale pretty nicely with a lot of the other stuff out there. Let's grab a WizKids human. Now, admittedly, these are at their scale at 100%. I think if you wanted to use them, let's say, with you know other stuff, maybe roll them down to you know 90. 85% size. I think that might work well as if you don't mind them bigger. The Mears Miniatures model. Conquest figure. So I think overall they fit in pretty good, especially if you use them at their own scale. Frostgrave stuff might be a little too small and you might want to tweak them for that. Older GW models. I'm surprised the War Games Atlantic guy looks kind of small compared to them. 
with an Artisan Guild Human. I think they're about the same size, about 30, 32 millimeter. I think they're going to work out well, but I think that size suits the 3D printed stuff anyways because you're able to really get that detail in there and it's easier to remove from the build plates as well. So, interesting release. I had never got around to filming it, but I figured while I'm trying to pass the time and wait for more information about the new Warhammer Quest, might as well get started on a nice looking Witch Hunter Warband. And finally, finally... Our friend will have some company, won't he? We'll put a link down below to both the Patreon and my mini factory page that Titan Forge has. And they also have a sister site, Patreon, for their sci fi stuff called Cyber Forge. If you're interested in that, we'll put a link down there below as well. With that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here soon. Bye bye.